Yo, we back again. Uh, uh, part two. Yeah, part two. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Honorable Chairperson. Let us begin with the Honorable Cyril Ramaphosa, who it is said he's responsible for moral regeneration. Having started your career in the student Christian movement, you would know that it is much more difficult for a rich man to enter the kingdom of righteousness than for a camel to Shout walk out. through the eye of the needle. You are the last one to talk about sharing wealth when your own wealth is based on the cheap and easily disposable labor of black mine workers who were killed in Margana. You are like the Pharisees who speak peace during the day and collude with murderers at night to take them and dig them six feet underground. You come here and say our economy is doing well, yet your president gave incomplete uh, information. We know that the WEF World Comp uh, WEF World so Competence looks like Report, a ninja turtle. which President Zuma mentioned, actually said South Africa dropped since 2009 like from 45 to a shocking 56 in overall terms. Today, your state's essay told us that unemployment rose to a shocking 36.1%, and the GDP dropped to 1.3%. It was 41 in 2014. And, on, if, and if Honorable Muzwandile thinks that I'm what Mr. Parliament, then he should know that we are not only better looking than him, we are better in everything and anything he can imagine. Perhaps when President Zuma looks at him and he looks at us, he wishes he had us in his cabinet. Because at least we do not suffer from the Nyaupe delinquent speech diarrhea characterized by his political inarticulation. We are self-made. He just bought it affiliated. You're just affiliated. You bought it, we built it ground up, as they say, and you got it renovated and you still killed it. Which reminds me of a man in Those a township so-called Skanzonzo. He was well known and admired by all. Wonderful they would wish... Action. Skanzonzo was admired by all. He was well known and admired by all. They would wish him, they would whistle for him, clap hands for him, cheer him. Not because he was the good soccer player, a great singer, or good looking. He was a brave thief who used to beat people around even when they disagreed with him. What kind of a society would cheer up such a man is a sick society. Now, Mr. President, you're on well, the South record Africa's to have confessed well. that you're a sick man and that this honorable house that voted you president today is sick as you are. You said the people of South Africa voted for sick people who need a cure and that the violence in parliament is the legacy of apartheid. Yes, take your seat, Honorable Glossy. Thank you, Chair. I don't think speak, it's parliamentary for the Honorable Speaker to say the President is sick. The President is not sick. He must withdraw that. Oh, no. Come, calm down. Calm down, Honorable Members. Or, Honorable Glossy, you referred to sickness when then you also included the House that elected the President as having been sick. Yes, and that includes all members of parliament who are sitting here yeah. who participated in that process. Will you draw that remark, please? Honorable Chairperson. Okay. Order, Honorable Members. Honorable Chairperson, allow me to appeal to your conscience. I am quoting the president. I am speaking to the words of the president that he uttered in relation to this house. There is a precedence about people who speak about things related to this house. Honorable Glossy. And we can discuss them in on, this house. Honorable Glossy. I suggest I'll, I'll have a look at the answer. Thank I you. suggest you continue with your speech and let's let's not let's not cast aspersions on anyone in the house. You may continue. You said the people of South Africa voted for sick people who need a cure and that the violence in parliament is a legacy of apartheid. We want to agree with you, Mr. President, that you and the members of your political party are morally, ethically, and cognitively sick. Only a sick people admire a person who steals and pickpockets the poor. Only a sick people would celebrate when police are legally brought into parliament to beat up members. Only a sick man can continue to insist that the speaker's rulings are worth respecting and complying with, even when the courts of law dismiss them. Only a sick man tells democratically elected MPs that they are not equal to Mr. President before the law, that you are above all of us and not subject to the rules of parliament. 
What resembles a bad well, date in this fifth democratic you. parliament is not some of us who protest to seek the truth against all odds, but the protection yes, you enjoy is where police are called to assault MPs oh, for asking to protect you against means. the question, when are you paying back the man? Only sick people would send police to kill Andri Stadani and the people of Mututlum for demanding basic services. In fact, only a sick man who claims that the provision of free basic housing perpetuates laziness. It is your sick government that sent Wait, police in Marigana that. to wow. shoot and massacre 34 poor black mine workers who were that only asking for a living wage. Laziness. Only sick people wow. would accept rulings that seek to suppress the truth <coughs> that the ANC speech. government massacred workers in Marigana. So, Mr. President, you must release the report and we will explain just now. The whole country wants to know how Mkengeni no Kimambush ended up with 14 bullets in his head for demanding a living wage of 12,500. After your sick government sent emails to mining bosses for concomitant action against the miners, we want to know how Toby Mbanza, Mafoli Simabia, Michael Nguyen, Fabi Yana, and many others died. If you are looking for a cure, release the Marikana report. Give us a date and time. There is a date as to when they were killed. There is a time of their death. The most honorable thing to do is not to come here and talk about some next month that nobody knows its name. Give us a date and time. In that report is a, date, is a cure. Because your friends in the presidency, when we will ensure they are going to jail. Thank you very much. The guests in the gallery, including my daughter and her friends. Uh, her name is Tuli. She's up there. <laughs> now, I just want to say to Tuli, Tuli, if you see anybody wearing a red overall and boots <laughs> approaching you, Run, my girl. Run. And don't look back. <laughs> As we deliver this budget vote speech on the eve of Monday. Tuli, Tuli, Tuli. <laughs> I'm just greeting to no Honorable Ntosi. That is completely out hey, of order. Hey, Honorable Ntosi. That's completely out of order. Please continue. <laughs> And <laughs> Commissar Dr. Ndlozi is not married and is available. <laughs> Honorable members, we appreciate the presence of the minister's daughter in the gallery, and that's where it ends. Please continue, minister. As we deliver this no, no, no. on the... Ginger is no. going to be very hurt about me being available. <laughs> Honorable Ndlozi, Ginger please is going take to be your seat. Everyone knows I'm with Ginger. Honorable Ndlozi, Honorable Ndlozi, the floor of the house is not where personal interest is expressed. <laughs> Honorable members standing up and grandstanding hey, and insulting this house Order. without... Order. You know, Honorable Speak, Mr. Ginger must not do this. <laughs> so I'm stressed, man. Like like yes, it's not going to happen. President Zuma has not responded to a simple honorable question as to when he's going to I'm speaking honorable speak I want honorable to respond you have no right to speak when are when you going I have to not pay back the money or if you value those taxpayers you will also take drastic Point action against this person yes honorable member just one second yes honorable member take your seat honorable member honorable Alves Yes, yeah, I, mean, speaker, I want you to assist us if it's parliamentary to say <laughs> like if it could be a language that we accept in this house that the white minority is the one that is funding this country. I pay tax too. Because it, it can't be. That's very racist. If, yeah. Even if I buy a Musamwa Tziwa Poof, I pay tax through value added tax. It's not only white people. Honorable member. Honorable member, please. So it can't be parliamentary that we take platform and say the white minority is the one that is funding the ANC government to prosecute people. No. 
That's racist. Madam Speaker. Now. The Honorable Lisoma. Oh, because I'm poor, oh, mama. That's a good thing. On a point of order. What's the point of order? You know, Speaker, who, who must be taken serious. The President answers a question, says absolutely oh, nothing, and then he laughs. It means the questions are jokes here. Honorable Josie, please take your seat. But, Speaker, you must protect no, us. No, please take your seat. The president has said absolutely nothing to the question. <laughs> and then he laughs. <laughs> Honorable Josie. This please. is this is not what? Trevor. I've been telling him this is not Trevor Noah's no, show. No, I think you must he take comes the to house laugh seriously. at us, he comes to laugh at questions in Parliament. Honorable the Josie. The people of South Africa want answers. Honorable Josie. <laughs> <laughs> no. What is the solution? What, what, is is okay. what should we do as South Africa? We must move beyond the ANC. We must go beyond the ANC because the ANC is dead. It is now simply the African national criminals. That is all you are. You support each other on the basis of stealing. You vote each other on the basis of stealing. You celebrate each other on the basis of stealing. It's all about stealing. It's all about lying. Even when you are lobbying each other, you stand on moral grinds on the basis of being able to steal tomorrow. Even Jackson Mutem with the Honorable, he's being faithful today because he wants the opportunity be, as well to steal tomorrow. Premier. It's all about oh, stealing. Yeah. So as South Africa... Well, they are far from a majority, so... Hey. And how thing? Oh, you know, that was a deal, Lavanda. Africans, we've got to move beyond this bunch and move on because it is all now about themselves, their families, their concubines. And that's how they've corrupted from parliament and everything that they control. The but day we move beyond you, that is the day we'll build a parliament with teeth. May I? No, let's go. I'm worried that uh, this minister that we pay so much, Minister Maite Maite, she's sleeping in parliament. And with that position, she's going to fall. No, and no, the no, minister no. would have fallen. She's still sleeping. Honorable member. She's still, I don't know. What's happening? That's not a point of order. Take your it's seat. Unacc order. No, no, no. The minister is sleeping. You can't say that's not a point of order. No, Josie, are you condoning people please. sleeping now? Josie, no. has we it must come, come for to you. sleep here in Parliament. Honorable sir, proceed. We pray you don't sleep here. Hey, man. We are busy debating. You are hey, sleeping. Hey, to the hey. You are sleeping. You are sleeping. Order, 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 no, I want to understand what this young boy is talking to. This young boy. No, Honorable Minister, that's not the point I of order. To to no, take your seat, when? Honorable Minister. What you can't minister, do Minister, you must sleep and we must honorable keep Minister, what are you doing? What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? No, Minister one, no. Ah, it's not true. It's not true, man. You are sleeping. Honorable you are sleeping on duty. Honorable member. You are sleeping on duty. Order. Honorable in crime hotspots across the West. Honorable man, please take your seat. Bank Diraj, I will be looking back at Parliament. I'm going to come and pay him. Yes, sir. Are we in an auction here? Honorable member. That is not a point of order. Point of order? Honourable Minister, please, please proceed. Before we proceed, yes, Honourable Member, why are you rising? I thought we should welcome members of the EFF from the gallery, a future generation of fighters. Let's give them a round of applause. No, Honourable Member, <laughs> what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Honourable Member, this is on Friday, my excuse. Hey, man, the squad. Hey, yo, did that? Oh, man, can you imagine? It's part of school outing.
<coughs> no, anyone can go to parliament, but for the ID, they are going to be back in Let's let's colors not confuse colours with the occasion. Order, honourable members. As I have said, members may order, honourable members. Order, honourable members. Before I proceed to the next question, I would like to welcome oh, in the gallery the teachers and learners from Noble Primary School in the Eastern Cape. What's the Eastern Cape? Uh, Honorable Ngrozi, you have a job. There are people who do their job. Don't retrench them in their presence. <laughs> Go ahead, Honorable Ngrozi. Speaker. 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 You're not in Kalepi. I want to want to want to ask my because of some rule, can I take this question? Please do. Thank you. Uh, Honorable uh, President, you know, this phone doesn't have a camera. You might want to start uh, ordering it for cabinet members because it will save us a lot from some of the embarrassing activities. Uh, that day. It doesn't have a camera. It can't even be hacked, this phone. It can't be hacked. Can I come, uh, maybe give it to you after so you can have a model of what phones might be critical for honorable cabinet members? If you don't withdraw, then I'll have to ask you to leave the room. No, 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 Speaker. I can't leave the no, room on the I basis of to... a court decision. No, because I'm asking you to withdraw that here in this house, not in court. This is a free house. I'm talking about I am protected by the Constitution to repeat rules. court decisions Honorable Dozi, that Gigaba is a liar. Please withdraw. Speaker, I'm unable to withdraw the truth. Then withdraw from the chamber. Speaker, I can't leave no, because I'm speaking the truth. from the chamber. If you are not going to do what the chair is telling you, I'm to coming do. to you there to hold you. We are going out together. <laughs> no, honourable, we are going out luma, together. Man. You and I today. Go out, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm coming there now. Honorable if they are pulling me out, we are coming out. Speaker, yeah. take a seat. Well, just take your seat, please. Why are you rising on a member in terms of which room? Uh, I'm rising on a point of order, House Chairperson. In terms of which rule is the point of order, Honourable Member? The, the, the Honourable Minister in terms says 92. <laughs> 92 doesn't say that. Anymore. Well, you'll find it. You're, ta your... you're taking a chance. Who was this actor again? What was his name? I remember him being very. Um, no, not the actor. Really. No, he just, he literally has one character that he's played his entire life. No. Manning. Now go hope Vili got to call if I'm not mistaken. No, no, no. Honorable, can you listen to the substance of my order, Chairperson? No, Honorable Member. I'm rising on a point of order, which is Rule 92. No, th that point of order, Rule 92. But can you listen first? No, can Honorable you, Member. Can't you listen first? Honorable Member. Honorable Member. It is my task as the presiding officer to guide you when you are obviously wrong. Okay, and but in this instance, in this wrong. instance, you are wrong. You're raising the wrong rule. Okay. You can't say you're, ri you're rising on point 92 based on point 92. What no, is that? No, no, I said I'm rising on Doesn't a point of sense. order. You asked me which rule. So what is the 92? point of order about honorable member? <laughs> you are taking chances. <laughs> the minister, order honorable members. The minister <laughs> you are taking say chances. Order. The minister says that our concerns around radical economic transformation. Honorable member, please take your seat. That's a point for discussion and debate. Can, no, can I? That is not a point of order. Mr. Chairperson, can I say my point of order? No, please take your seat. But you, you can't had, allow a minister to call us drunk. You had the opportunity she to make amendments. She members said statement. we must. Us who are concerned about the radical economic transformation Take must go and speak. Seat, honorable member. Also, huh? it's allowed for a minister to insult us. No, That's honorable not member. even aspersions. No, honorable member, 
honorable member. Honorable Frolic Dew, Dew mm -hmm. yes. Zulu. Please. Because you're you going Please. to render this well, house I'll check, I'll check the statement. No, I'll check the statement. You ch but you in just that said that that now you're going to take the statement. Well, through. You're going to turn in God this house of property. She must not say people are not in God. I'm speaking for Honorable the Honorable members, time. you will not hold the sitting to ransom. I'm not trying to do we that. We want yet. to continue with the business Can of you the just day. hear me out? Please? please take your seat. Honorable House Chairperson, I'm rising on a point of order. It has nothing to do with what has been said. What is your point of order? Thank you very much. First of all, those two people there at the door don't belong in the house. Those two people there must leave the house. Give that order. Everybody that is in here must have this card and must have been sewn in in terms of his oath of office. Those guys must leave the house. They don't belong in the house. They're in the bridge of the... Even the justices are sitting on the other side. The justices are sitting on the other side. We've got two people there. I don't know them. I didn't vet them. This is my house. They must leave. Those two people there. That's number one. I don't know them. Do you know them? You look shocked, Evie. But you say this is your house. There are two guys standing there. Who are they? Do they have this? They must go. That's the first point of order, honorable uh, chairperson of the NCOP. The second thing is a fundamental mistake here. We are all first and foremost citizens of South Africa, and we are not allowed, according to the Constitution, to stand for any office if we have a criminal record. The Constitutional Court, it doesn't matter whether it's NCOP, it doesn't matter whether it's legislature, even a council of councillors in a township are not allowed to hold public office if they are found to have been in breach of the Constitution. If you want to listen to a person that has breached the Constitution, go do it elsewhere. Somewhere in the prisons there, Honorable where the criminals speak. Make your I have a duty, together with other members of parliament who have taken an oath of office, Let to protect order. this house in terms of the constitution. Mr. <coughs> Zimba, please leave, Baba. Please. I I You know, I... Man, this, this is woman I know. She actually does this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, she has a very busy schedule. I actually know her. Please leave. You don't belong here. You are a constitutional delinquent. You have to leave. Then we can proceed with the business of the house. And I each and every one of us are competent to can deliberate on the state of the nation. But Mr. But Mr. Zuma is a delinquent. He breached the constitution. He doesn't belong in the, It is him that should leave. Honorable You are wrong not to protect us. You're protecting him to stay here. As a constitutional, as a criminal, not making a point of order. It is a point of order. It's not right. Right. Yeah. house in session making when people speech. have invaded. Mr. Zuma, conviction. together with those two guys. Yeah, but not a conviction. Um, yeah, but still pretty constitution. But yeah, yeah, that was unclosing. Mm -hmm. Part two. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, day. But we're not allowed to go to no, I know. Really. He's a bit of fresh air, for, especially for what our politics is. Yeah, but he's Yeah, he's a group. He's a group. He's a group. But in any case, like this video, sub, let's get 1.5 subs, mm -hmm. suggest clips, son, bud.